I flew here. I, I flew from an airport in, 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 frankly, in North Carolina. I can't tell you the, the name of the, of the place because I don't want them to make, feel like I'm picking on them. But I go in the airport, and right there, beside the big welcome to Charlotte sign is... <laughs> I gave it away. It's, it's a museum. Woo! I guarantee no one ever left that airport going, oh man, not enough culture. <laughs> it's like a portrait gallery of aviation pioneers like Chuck Yeager, a West Virginian, by the way, and the Wright brothers. I saw a fella holding his little boy's hand. They were admiring a portrait of Amelia Earhart. But I overheard, there's a little sign he's reading. He's like, son, that there, that's a Amelia. I. Sound it out, did he? Sound it out. Amelia, Amelia, oh, Amelia Earnhardt. That's Dale Jr.'s Mimo. Woo! <laughs> and I said, what? But I said, what, really loud? <laughs> You know, sometimes you're in a big open space and you try to talk above the noise and as soon as you do, everybody else just shut up. <laughs> he looked at me, he walked closer, he got bigger, he was big. And I'm kind of a, what's, what's the word, mm, a wimp. <laughs> I panicked, dude, I played along. I said, that's what I heard, sir. I believe that Dale Jr.'s pawpaw and her met down there at Talladega one year. <laughs> and they fell in love and she got on a plane and we never saw that lady again. <laughs> now, I don't know what's worse that he's telling the stupid story or the fact that this airport decided to put up pictures of people who died in airplanes. <laughs> Are you serious? Baby, I'm not wild about flying as it is. I don't need to walk through the plane crash hall of fame <laughs> on the way to concourse B. Walking through, here's some famous people who didn't make it. <laughs> you know what else? I'm not crazy about waiting for my plane at the Buddy Holly Lounge. I'm not doing that either. <laughs> I don't want a La Bamba burger, Brenda. No, I don't. Now listen, I'm not, I can't tell you the name of the airline that I flew because of a blog post that I made. Um, <laughs> let's just say it's an American airline. <laughs> not everybody got that. <laughs> listen, I'm not one of those people that waxes poetic about the bygone days of air travel. People talk about it like it was, no, it's always kind of been crappy. Can we, can we agree on that? They, they used to have more room. People used to dress better. The problem today, the way I see it, is they nickel and, you know what I mean when I say they nickel and dime you? Every little thing. You want to put a bag under this plane? Pay me. You want to select your seat, do you? Pay me. Would you like those oxygen masks to fall down in an emergency? Would you like that? Would you, would you? Swipe your card. <laughs> it's coming. Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> the only extra that most airlines still include, and I say most, if you're flying this one discount airline, I can't help you. Can't tell you the name of that one either. But uh, <laughs> we got spirit. Yes, we do. We got spirit. How about you? Okay, that might be a little clue. <laughs> that airline, they are so cheap, they charge you by the peanut. Well, they no longer have peanuts, of course, because Connor has an allergy or whatever. I don't know. Can we stop with the peanut allergies, please? I went to school, frankly, more than 12 years of public school. <laughs> Ain't never met a kid with a peanut allergy. And now they're everywhere. I figured out why. Hose water. Kids stop drinking hose water. <laughs> <laughs>